Hello, welcome to another video in the series of shiny layouts and in this video we are going to see how to style the shiny apps using shiny themes package. Shiny themes is a package that comes with predefined themes or a collection of themes which we can apply on shiny app to make it look good. Let me show you what I'm talking about by running this app. As you can see, I've got a demo app here. It already has a style. And let me show you the different style that comes with shiny themes. So these are the list of styles or themes, I should say, that comes with shiny themes shiny theme package and say for example I select this one you can see that um, this is how this particular theme looks like I select the second one and you can see how it changes the look and feel of the app so this is just to show you the different themes available however um, what we are going to work out is a demo or an, uh, uh, an example app. So first thing first, what we are going to do is install the Shiny Themes package if you don't have it already. I do have the package installed, so I'm not going to go to this step. Rather, I will just load them. So I load the Shiny and Shiny Themes um, package. I will come to the theme part later on, uh, but just have a quick um, review and walk through the uh, layout part. So within the fluid page, I've got navbar page. And if you remember, uh, we have uh, we had the title there. Title says demo shiny themes. I'm just given the ID here and we had two tabs, right? So this is tab number one and then I've got I've got another tab here. So this is the plots tab, right, um, where it will show the plot. And then we have the, the first tab, tab uh, the data tab, right. So the title of the tab is data. I've just put the value as data. And in that, if you remember, we have got the sidebar layout, uh, 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 sidebar panel, sorry, and the main panel. Right. So all that goes under sidebar panel, the, the widgets we had, the action button, the radio button, all that code goes inside the side, sidebar panel function. And then we had the data sets and uh, the summary stats tab uh, within main panel. So within main panel, I've got tab set panel and within that I've got the two tabs, the data set and the summary stats tab. So pretty much about the layout. Now let me tell you the function which we are going to use to style our theme, to style our app. So we say we, we use an argument called theme. We say theme equals shiny theme. Shiny theme is a function which comes from shiny themes package. And then we define the name of the theme. So we've got a bunch of themes, right? And I have included here for reference the, the uh, name of the themes which you can try. So let me put, let me change the theme and show you. So instead of sandstone, I put the theme flatly and let me rerun the code. And you can see that the theme is changed. Let me use one more theme just for the sake of demo. So I use slate and I go to theme equals shiny theme function and I put slate and it will show me a different kind of style look and feel right. Just in case you want to uh, experiment uh, which theme you might want to uh, get on your app, the function which shows the available themes is 
theme selector so what you need to do is inside your fluid page function or within the navbar page function you can put theme selector function and rerun your program what this will do is basically this will give you this widget which will have a list of themes and you can one by one you can um, try to uh, change the theme and see how your app might look like and that way you can decide upon which theme is suitable for your app and that theme you can the name of that theme you can put in 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 the uh, as argument within the shiny theme function